my name is Ben Upham. I'm a project manager, technical project manager at Urban Insight. Um, Urban Insight is a uh, web uh, application website development uh, agency in Los Angeles. We work um, a lot with the legal aid community. We uh, developed a um, Drupal uh, distribution or framework, whatever you want to call it, theme um, called DLaw. And we also offer, we also offer a uh, hosting service for Drupal websites called Open Advocate. So you may have heard of us in the context of those various things. Um, in this case, uh, <clears throat> We are, um, we are also the original developers, along with um, Idaho Legal Services, Legal Assistance of Western New York, and uh, LSC in general, of the Write Clearly and Read Clearly applications. Um, and just to dive a little bit into the history of the applications and really quickly in a one sentence summary of what they are, uh, Write Clearly is a tool that can analyze text on a web page or in a Google document and determine the grade level of the text and make suggestions about how the author of the text might make it simpler, simplify it to uh, reach a certain grade level to make it uh, in, in the lingo um, plain language, right? To, to make it more of a plain language document. Read clearly sort of comes at the same problem from the opposite direction and that it provides uh, a tool they can be put on websites that will automatically highlight or underline um, terms, legal terms or other um, complex terms that the user can then hover over them and see a plain language definition of that term, uh, sometimes in multiple languages, in Spanish at least. Um, so that, those, those are the two tool, tools that we're talking about today. And I'll obviously dive into more of the details of what they are in a second. Um, Again, getting back to the sort of the background here, uh, I should I guess keep my chat open. I'll, I'll warn you all, I'm not great at like monitoring Zoom chat while also talking, but I will try and respond to any any urgent items that come up. Otherwise, we can get to them later in the, in the conversation. Um, so the applications were developed in, I think, around 2014. This is all before my time at Urban Insight. Um, and then were it further extended uh, with a grant from, I believe, LSC, LSC uh, in 2015 or 2016. Um, and then this year, uh, we got, uh, there was a, a new grant uh, through LSNTAP uh, and LSC to upgrade the applications and provide continuing support, which is really important because we weren't able to provide continuing support for the applications. Uh, and now we can, and we also are looking at uh, things that we want to improve about the applications. And we're definitely looking to our user base, uh, old or new, for suggestions, uh, must-haves that you would li like to see in the Write Clearly and Read Clearly apps. Okay, so unless there are any really urgent questions about the background for them, I'll, I'd like to get into, into the training portion of this and sort of explain more about what they are. All righty. So, um, Read clearly. I'm going to talk. I'm going to give you some examples. I'm going to talk about, a little bit about installing it on a website. Um, if you have detailed questions about installing it, we can take that on in a different context. Uh, I think probably my email will be shared with you all at some point after this. Um, and talk a little bit about how it works with DLaw if you use DLaw, um, and then we'll talk some more about Write Clearly, what it is in detail, how it, how the different ways that you can use it, and then finally after that. Um, I'll open it up for any questions, any suggestions, and I have a couple of questions for you all um, as well. All right, so read clearly. Uh, oh, sorry, before I go into that, one really more uh, quick thing on the background of this whole thing. I, you probably are all familiar with the concept of plain language writing, uh, but just in case, um, the idea, again, the, the sort of philosophical idea between behind the Read Clearly and Write Clearly apps was, you know, how can we take, how can we help legal aid professionals to provide, um, to help them uh, write in sort of reduce the amount of quote legalese uh, in their writing and help 
reach the users of their websites or the readers of their documents, whether they're online or, or, or what have you, um, in language that those folks are, you know, more likely to understand. So in that sense, the goal, generally speaking, with plain language, um, with plain language approach is to reach approximately an eighth grade reading level. Uh, at the eighth grade reading level, you're, you're writing in a style that about 80% of Americans can easily understand. So that's a, that's a really uh, great percentage of the population. And at that level, you, there's, you can still convey, you know, most everything you need to convey. Um, so if you're wondering what eighth grade reading level is, uh, the first Harry Potter book is apparently eighth grade reading level. So if you haven't read that in a while, you can go back and, and check it out. Um, so I just want to really quickly cover that, that background of, of plain language. Okay, so let's jump into, into read clearly. So the web home of both the Read Clearly and Write Clearly apps at this time anyway, um, that is their sort of presence online, is uh, on the openadvocate.org website under the free tools menu here, Write Clearly and Read Clearly. Let's jump over to Read Clearly. Uh, and this will give you some background. You know, if you forget everything that I say in this meeting, you just go here and we'll share these links too. In fact, you know what? I'll drop this in the chat right now. Um, so, as I said, the read clearly is a little, it's a, the, the application, as far as you're, you're concerned, is a little bit of, of text, of JavaScript text. If you've ever added Google Analytics to a website, if you've ever added any tracking tool, any help bot, it's always tends to come as a little bit of JavaScript that somebody's got to put on your website. So that's all that uh, read clearly is as well. And in fact, we have a, plenty of developer documentation right here. On the, on the site as to how to add it, how to configure it, all that good stuff. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and then, so let's take a look at what it looks like on a page uh, in the wild here. So um, here is the uh, Idaho Legal Aid uh, website. And you can see um, we clearly is active here. You've got uh, important uh, legal terms are underlined clearly. Um, and when you hover over them, you get a plain language definition of that term. Um, and again, this takes just a few minutes to set up and it's very helpful for folks when they're perusing, you know, topics, documents, articles, um, to just have that context if they need it. Uh, there's a little feedback mechanism here where people, where people can say, no, I don't understand this definition or yes, I do. Um, and then over here, um, this is just like, it just, just tells them what this is, what it means. And then there's a toggle here where you can turn it off on our website. So that's all available to your website users. Um, this is what they see when they visit your site. So that's, that's really it. Um, if you use uh, Open Advocate, um, it's built into the platform. Uh, you can, it's under site settings, glossary, and then all the configuration stuff is here. Uh, you can add a glossary or you can change the glossary that you're using or you can add a custom glossary. Um, one of the features that we're considering sort of strengthening about the, the application is the idea of custom glossaries, the idea of being able to sort of add a shared custom gloss, glossary or sort of build on top of an existing glossary. Um, so that's all things that we're exploring for both read clearly um, and write clearly, whether it's in DLaw or it's in the um, just the normal JavaScript version of it. So that's that's really it for read clearly. Um, I guess why don't we save our questions for the end and I'll move on to write clearly. Uh, okay. Okay, so write clearly, as I said, is kind of approaching the same problem. How do we write uh, clearly? <clears throat> How do we write in language that the average person can understand? Um, and instead of you know providing those definitions on the end, we're helping the, the people who are writing the content um, simplify their language or make it clearer. Uh, 
So again, Write Clearly's home is also on the openadvocate.org website. Um, and the way it works, there's two different ways you can use this tool. One is through the bookmarklet, which I'll explain in a second, and the other is by um, integrating it with your G Suite um, tools, or specifically Google Docs. So the bookmarklet is right here. You can add it to your browser of choice by dragging it up into the browser. I already have up there, so I'm not going to do it again, but you literally just drag it with your mouse. And then you go to a page that you want to analyze. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go to here. I'll close it for a second. I'm going to go here to the Wikipedia page for the Flesh Kincaid readability test, which is the one that we use in the software itself to analyze the, the grade level of, of um, text. So all you do is you click the bookmarklet, and instead of opening up a new page, which is what most bookmarks do, it actually runs a little bit of code and it starts talking to the ser our servers and sends all the text on the page to the server and the server analyzes it and sends it back. And then it opens up this toolbar at the bottom of the page. And in the toolbar, we have uh, a bunch of things. Over here on the left, we have its approximate um, grade level for the page that we're reading. Uh, the last one is the last page uh, that you visited, what the grade level was for that one. Um, and then here we have a summary of all of the suggestions that it's found on the page. So um, it's, it's sort of like a summarize, summarizing like the opportunities to, to uh, simplify or make plain, plainer the text um, in this document or on this page. So then if you click see suggestions or you click next, either one, um, you'll start going into the specific sentences that it's analyzed for um, in, in this way. So you can see those sentences are marked here in purple. Um, and then the, the, um, the text is, is here. And then the specific issue that it found, um, in this case, using the word indicate, you know, try using a simpler term, show, write, write down, say, state, show, et cetera. So that's the kind of suggestions that it provides. And as we click through, we can see more. Um, a lot of them are, are suggestions to shorten sentences, for example, things like that. So that's the uh, bookmarklet. And then, um, so as I said, there's, and that, that's really it. So I, I, just to be clear, like when you open this on a page, you are in no way affecting the page. You are not breaking the page or, um, corrupting the page in any way. It's totally independent. It's not going to do uh, anything to the page. It's just something that lives kind of external to it that allows you to kind of go through it and, and analyze stuff. Uh, so you don't need to worry about like turning it on on a page if that's going to have any impact. That's just for your use. Uh, to close it, you just close out like that. Pretty simple. Um, so as I said, there's another way to, um, to add to use right, right clearly, and that is to add it to your Google Docs. And the way you do that is um, it's actually under the Google Workspace Marketplace now. Um, and I think the link here is going to the old Google Marketplace thing. So we need to update that. Um, but it is the Google Work, Workspace Marketplace. And if you just search here, let me add this link to If you search here um, for Write Clearly, you can see it shows up. Here we are. Um, it's already installed, obviously, for me. But uh, you can just install it from here. You have to be an admin of your Google Suite account to install it. So if you're not an admin, you need to ask wherever that is to install it. Once it's installed, we can go back to our agenda. I'm going to add a little more text here so that we have something to work with. Just a second. Okay, so once if you're working on a document uh, for whatever use case, um, the web, print, whatever, you can go up to, I gotta open up my toolbar here and go to add-ons once it's been installed, right clearly show to toolbar. So that opens up a toolbar on the right here. And then if you click evaluate, it will analyze the text on the page and it will provide the same sort of suggestions that the bookmarklet does. 
you'll notice is there's a lot of limitations here. Um, and that's because we're working inside of Google's walled garden, so to speak. So um, at least when we originally developed the Google Docs version of this, it wasn't so simple to do things like add a little, you know, number one, number two to the sentences that it finds or things like that, or be able to tap through things. Um, one of the things we're considering in terms of upgrading the applications is, is there more we can do to make the, uh, the G Suite's version of this, the Google Doc version of this more interactive and more easy to, to you know, understand what's going on, like by say, highlighting a sentence that, it, that it's found issues with or, or whatever. But it, it, in a nutshell, that's it. Um, it analyzes the text, it provides uh, suggestions, and yeah, that's that's it for the Write Clearly app. So um, at that point, at this point, I've really pretty much covered the the territory with the two tools. 